How's it going guys? This is Davey here from phonebuff.com and today I'm be doing a video on how to flash a custom ROM to your Android phone. So uh, first things first, you do need to be rooted in order to be able to do this. As you can see, I'm already rooted, I have super user permissions. And second thing you're gonna need is ROM Manager, which is available for free on the Android market. So uh, download that guy and then launch it up. And the reason why you need this app is because it allows you to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery instead of using the stock recovery which uh, this one allows you to install a zip from your SD card. So that's where you're gonna install the ROM from. So go ahead and tap flash clockwork mod recovery. It's gonna ask you to confirm which kind of phone you have. In this case, I have the Samsung Galaxy S Vibrant. And as you can see, it is flashing the recovery. Hit allow when super user requests. And uh, you can see it says successfully downloaded clockwork mod recovery. Hit okay, hit home. And uh, you're pretty much done with the app from here. So you're gonna turn the phone off, just hit power off. And uh, while it's turning off, I'll show you how to boot into recovery. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold the power button and the volume down button simultaneously. So uh, phone isn't off yet, I have to wait for it to vibrate. But you're gonna press these two guys simultaneously and hold it until you see the screen light up. All right, so the phone is off now, so I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and the power key simultaneously until I see the screen light up. Let go, and uh, it should take us right into Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, so uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery is loaded up, and uh, let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. So when you're navigating through the recovery mode, the touchscreen actually doesn't work, so what in order to navigate, you need to press up and down on your volume rocker to go up and down, and to select something, you're gonna press the power button. So before you do anything, I'd recommend doing the three wipes before you uh, install your ROM because if you don't, you might run into issues. So the first wipe is the factory reset wipe data right here. So I'm going to press power. It's going to give me a list of a whole bunch of no's and one yes. You're going to hit that one yes and uh, you can see it did a factory reset. The second wipe is wipe cache partition. Same thing. Go to uh, yes, wipe the cache. And then the third and last wipe that you want to do is under advanced and it's wipe Dalvik cache. So go to yes again and there you go. So I've done the three wipes. Now I'm ready to uh, install or flash the ROM. So you're going to go to install zip from SD card and uh, you want to uh, put your the ROM you want to install on your SD card before you even do any of this. And then go to choose zip from SD card, press the power button. Mine's at the very bottom, so it's uh, trigger 3.2 final. I'm just gonna tap the select button, go down to yes to confirm that I wanna install it. And uh, there you go, it's gonna be installing the ROM. And uh, you wanna let this go for a while. It should take somewhere between two to five minutes, depending on the phone and the ROM, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. All right, so you can see it's almost done, and uh, I'll just skip to uh, when it's complete. All right, so the install from SD card is complete, as you can see. So install the ROM, and what you want to do from here is go back, and then hit Reboot System Now. So when I hit this, it's going to restart the phone, and uh, something important to note is when your phone loads up the screen where it looks like it's ready for you to start using it, I'd recommend letting it sit for an additional five to 10 minutes because sometimes a ROM will load things up in the background and if you interfere with the phone or start using it before it's completely loaded, uh, it could lead to some issues. So let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then begin using it. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is David from phonebuff.com. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.